Good afternoon, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. This is Rich again, back for your second video blog of the day for Thursday, August 27, 2015, around 3.29 in the afternoon, Bellica, Massachusetts. Sunny out with some clouds, but it's more comfortable and stuff. Highs in the 70s and stuff. Low humidity, which is good and stuff. The ACs are taking a holiday, but we'll be cranking them on one more time before the fall comes. Some news to report, sad news to report in the NBA. Former NBA player Dow Dawkins, nicknamed Chocolate Thunder, passed away at the age of 58. Dow played 12 seasons in the NBA, mainly with the Philadelphia 76ers. He was known for doing out amazing dunks. And also, um, Jamie Endall has been promoted to the, the sideline reporter for the third NFL team for CBS this fall. She's be, be working sideline with the games called by Greg Gumbel and Trent Green. So congratulations to her. And it's Happy National Burger Day. So have a burger today. Any kind of burger. Bacon burger, cheeseburger, hamburger, tuna burger, veggie burger, vegan burger, shark burger. Any kind of burger. And that's about it on that. And that's it for the news right now. So the next subject is about the Emlo Rose Restaurant in Bellica, Massachusetts. It's on Boston Road in Bellica, Massachusetts, in the Pine section of town, across the street from um, the Newtown Grill and stuff, and close by to the old Ditson School, which is the Middlesex Sheriff's Department training facility. The M. Rose Rolls has been open since, the, since 2000, and it's one of Bellica's most popular restaurants. It's an Irish restaurant, and it usually has a lot of corned beef and cabbage for St. Patrick's Days and special occasions and stuff. Plus it has a great menu of sandwiches. You could get a, a turkey wrap or a chicken wrap, hamburgers. You could get like fish there. All kinds of like entrees including um, Stolzberry steak and chicken dinner, steak tips and so many other dishes and stuff and they have a lunch menu which is pretty good a dinner menu that's pretty good and a late night menu plus they have happy hour there which is pretty good they have like appetizers like cost $4.95 like mini sandwiches and stuff and like mini appetizers which is pretty pretty good and there's, a, and then a, there's an extensive Beers on tap, plus they have about maybe 20 beers on tap, plus they have a full, full alcohol license. You could get Irish drinks there, and all kinds of stuff, and lots of great desserts and stuff. Plus they'll bring you bread and butter there, which is real, real nice. The MROs is open seven days a week, at the beginning at 11.30, and during Sundays so they, from 10 in the morning to 2 in the afternoon they serve brunch which is pretty good and stuff like that and Emeralds usually a couple of nights a week has entertainment they have like local bands playing stuff like that their bar is pretty pretty big it's probably the biggest um, bar of all the restaurants in Bellica which is pretty good and they have a dining room area that and the capacity of of the MROs is about 200 or so it's usually pretty busy there during the night times when they have the entertainment and Sundays during the brunch hours their prices is a little towards a little expensive and stuff and recently many people have been like complaining that the prices have been going too high and they've been getting lower portions of food. I've been there a few times and their portions of food is decent and stuff. And they have a pretty good bartending and waitress staff and it's pretty good and stuff like that. And Rose is one of the only restaurants in Bellica that does not have Kino so that's 
that might be a good thing or a bad thing, but I heard the ownership there does not want Kino at all and stuff, which, you know, understandable. Some people, some restaurants don't want the Kino and stuff. And that's about it on the M Rose, 785 Boston Road in Berwick, Massachusetts. If you want to go down there, if you're in town, be my guest. It's a great restaurant. And that's about it on the M Rose. And that's about it on this video blog. I will be back for the third and final video blog of the night, which will be about personality profile. Tonight's personality profile will be about former WWE CEO and former Senator candidate of Connecticut, Linda McMahon. Like I always say, keep calm. And I'm a Julie Broughton guy, Julie Broughton's Local 6, Orlando, Florida. She's the best, and she's got nice legs. And Molly Rosenblatt of Fox 35 Rocks, and Amy Swenzi of Wish 2 Rocks, and Elizabeth Hart of Local 6 Rocks as well. And in words of Sean Lucha, get out! See you later!